Behind you. Look where you're going, please. Bonjour. How can I help you today, sir? Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Ah, huh. Indian? Yeah, a boxer. No. Sorry, mister. No. Actually, yes. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnine. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. I would head along that way. Saint Saturnine. Enjoy the fight! I think they might be starting soon.
The word is excusing. Hey, mister. Hello. <laughs> what took you so long? Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Mind yourself. That's that first barman I met. And he told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not Folks one of life's great mysteries, surprise, turns out. <laughs> they hate a massacre. And you are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe you was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Ladies sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and not so noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout. You win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Pretend he's Micah. You know what Hit him, Lone your... Wolf. Hit him, Hit Charles. Lone Wolf. Come on. Knock him out. Try and stay on your feet, you hear? Don't black out just yet. Hit him, Lone Wolf. Hit him, Charles! What's he doing? Knock him out! Don't black out just yet! Try and stay on your feet, you hear? Pretend he's Micah! <laughs> Come on, Lone Wolf! Better get you the hell out of here! Hey! Lone Wolf! Whoa! How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> So it goes. Here's your share, partner. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. This way. Uh, 
My bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since... Well... That time. Nor me. And Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or... Since before I got off Sissica. They picked up Strauss. The agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened. All those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh... He used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey! Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three! <laughs> chance we have of denying it at least no we can't get caught martelli has the police chief in his pocket if they take us in we won't get out of the interview room i don't want to get in a shootout over this that's not the man i try to be anymore no i don't want that either do you see anything i think we're clear if i ever want to go back remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. John Charles! <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. 
Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs>
right here. Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But... Same as most people. I guess. Funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot, this line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah, it's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now come on, mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. <laughs> Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. A new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north, or gone off somewhere else, or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in Saint Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But... I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. 
I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there, whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket round me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But <sighs> not now. Come on. So, James Langton, the bounty hunter, has got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? You're lagging, John. So, what were you saying? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. We cut off here. This is the place. It's a view, all right. Let's go take a look down in the valley. Come on, John. Help me find them. I think I see something. Yup. There they are. Down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Uh, come on. Let's go follow them. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. Hey 